Hey guys, just jumping in here right now. I just have a few things that I wanted to talk about quickly before the vlog began. Just wanted to start off by saying thank you guys so much. It's been a year now since we've revamped the vlog channel and we appreciate all the support that you guys have been giving us making this an absolute dream to be working on and doing for you guys. This is right now, even though we did have a vlog going up on, I think it was the first or the second of January, this is the first vlog made in the new decade. So it's really exciting, fingers crossed for more years to come. We're gonna be rolling out a new intro to commemorate you know the past year and a lot of stuff going on because a lot of stuff has happened and we want to be able to show that to you guys hope you guys enjoy the vlog coming up today and keep a heads up for the new intro that's going to be rolling out really soon hope you guys enjoy today's vlog Welcome back to the vlogs. So the vlog you were supposed to see today was supposed to be New Year's like we told you guys but we got to the hotel and the camera card wasn't in the camera and we were so sad because we wanted to film our whole like New Year's experience and we couldn't but you guys weren't missing much. My family and us agree that it wasn't like the best New Year's place to go to. The music was really bad like there wasn't any party music it was very like oldies, slow jams, it was catered to the audience that was there. Yeah, it was catered to older people. You guys are just people. more so used to the place that we go the past few years. It's more catered to a younger audience. We just tried to change it up a little bit this year. And, you know, you win some, you lose some. We didn't have the most amazing time. We still had a good time. It's just we might be going back to the other place afterwards. Yeah, it's more about the people we were with. Like, we had fun with our family, but we didn't love the place itself. So you didn't miss much, but anyways, we did. too much food that I shouldn't have. Yeah, Ty had a lot of gluten and he's celiac. Because I didn't so. know. I didn't know what it was. Nobody told me orzo was pasta. I thought it was rice. Just very tasty rice. So the one thing we wished we had the vlog camera for was my dad got a phone call from this random number three times in a row and as it was ringing he would like show us his phone screen because it was like from like someone named like Hubendo or something something with an H and like two O's like some random last name of a person and he was like I don't know who this is I'm not gonna pick it up so he kind of forgets about it we go about our night and then he sees that someone left a voicemail on his phone <laughs> so my dad has this, I don't know if it's like a new phone thing or like some app, but you can have like, without listening to the message, you can like watch the words play on the screen of what the message it says. It transcribes it for you. It transcribes it. And because, you know, the music was so loud, he wanted to like transcribe what the message was. And as he was reading it, it was like this really angry, like voicemail from somebody with like, I don't know, it was like bleeped out because they were saying a lot of swear words. So he I, decided- I just like that it was transcribed with like, words missing because that's when they were swearing. Yeah. The transcription is censored. So he decides to try and listen the best he can and it's this woman who I guess was trying to call her like boyfriend or man friend or something but she was like screaming she's like where the heck are you and she's like swearing but I can't swear obviously. She's like where the heck are you I've been waiting for hours. What was she saying like screaming. I don't want to just assume it but it seemed like she had a few drinks as it was New Year's Eve. Yeah. And she was saying that you know, she's been waiting for an hour and he was supposed to pick her up or arrive at some place for her and you know that he might be hanging out with some other girl and you know to let him know that she was right about him but this was just the first message and with the transcription we read it we're like okay because it doesn't get it 100 percent yeah your dad started showing everybody the message itself so we would listen to it and this lady was going off like crazy yeah and this was just the first message there was a second one and a third one <laughs> yeah, obviously she was really hurt by some guy that she was expecting to pick her up for New Year's and there was like kids screaming in the background. Lots of kids. Like, which like. was weird, like just kids' voices just screaming behind her message as she's yelling at the phone. It was just bizarre and my dad's like, I have no idea who I this is. I was kind of laughing a little bit because your dad's face, because he's getting screamed at by somebody he doesn't know on the voice, but he's like, yeah. <laughs> he looks so shocked. Yeah, it was really bizarre, a little bit creepy and strange, but I wish we had the camera but I guess we can't really show someone's voice 
don't think that's like illegal. We can't. So. And also there's music playing, so we wouldn't be able to hear it anyways. Anyway, so that's the update on New Year's. It was really fun and also very strange. And today we are going on a little date night because we don't really usually go on date nights well, as well, of recently. Well, we haven't because we just got married. So uh, we've been just trying to get the house back together and all that stuff. Yeah, so we are right now going to Boston Pizza to have some food and then we're going to see Frozen 2. I know we're a little bit late. It came out like two months ago, but we don't like going to movies like when they first come out, aside from Star Wars. Because, because we get to go like in the middle of the night or in the middle of the day when there's no one in the theater and just dance around. Yeah. I mean, like I, like no offense to any small kids watching, I don't really want to sit in a theater full of like a million kids. So I like to wait until like, you know, later it's on when there's- It's also flu season right now. It is flu season really and careful. everyone coughs. So we don't want to get coughed on. Anyway, we're at the restaurant now and we'll see you inside. Don't you think it's funny, Jess, that every single time we come here, just you and I, we're always sitting in this booth. Do we? Yeah. We're always sat that. in this booth. We sit in a booth? Yeah. Whenever we vlog, it's when the waiters like come over and like look at us strangely. It's always a thing. But anyways though, we have our wine. We have our wine. It looks a lot like a lot more than I thought it would look like, but oh by the way, I'm on a week break off my antibiotics, which is why I can have a glass of wine and then I can't have wine for another three months, so. Enjoying it while we can. Yes. And also gonna go to frozen, a little bit sauced. Not <laughs> sauced. Just a little buzzed. We got the gluten-free pizza. Jesse has her regular pizza. Looks good. Wait, is there a ranch on yours? I don't know what kind of sauce it is. It's dairy of some kind, but it's not ranch. Okay, because he, you hate ranch. I do, but this isn't ranch. It's a different color. That's ranch. This, this is, is ranch. yellower stuff. That's true. We're gonna but find out. But it could out. be like ranch mixed with something else. Hopefully not. We'll find out. Okay. <laughs> what do we have going on here? You ruined our special moment. It's usually what I do. She was sleeping on me. So. We just got back from Frozen 2. It was so short. I'm so used to watching long movies, like three hour movies in the theater. Well, the last movie that we saw in theaters Star was Wars. Star Wars, and that was three hours long, pretty much. This movie was like an hour and 15 minutes. Which we actually just learned about the Star Wars movie what? from your dad. What? What he was telling us, that it was supposed to be about three hours and 40 minutes, apparently. They cut about 50 or so minutes off. So there might be a good director's I cut. I wanted to out. see more. We can see more later. Anyways, though, Frozen 2 was good. Still liked the first one better, but it was still good. I think it was funnier watching the movie with the kids' reaction in the theater because, like, they would cry when something bad would happen. That's they would, mean. They would so laugh. I'm saying it's more entertaining because kids are crying. No, not because they're crying. Like, because they had so many different emotions watching the movie. Like, they would laugh. They would cry. Like, when something went well, they'd be like, <laughs> like, they would clap. It was just really funny. They all like brought like these little like frozen dolls with them to watch the movie. It was very cute. But yeah, I would give it like seven out of 10. Wasn't life changing, but it was good to see You did part like two. that one scene. Oh, is it okay to say it? Well, it's not really spoilers or anything. It's just recapping the first movie and they, they did it pretty well. Let's just say that Olaf is hilarious and the movie wouldn't be as good without him. There you go. I love the snowman. What did you think about it, B? It was the frozen movie. I'm a little sad because last time I went to go see Frozen was when it first came out in theaters and I snuck an entire box of Oreos in. Can't do that now because I'm allergic to them, but that definitely made the first one a lot more entertaining. But I'm not gonna be the type of person to say, oh, you know, it's a Frozen movie because I'm a guy and I'm also, you know, 24. They did a good job. It was an entertaining movie. It's obviously directed towards kids. I do realize now as I am older that there are certain parts of most Disney movies that I realize is kind of more so just a giant advertisement yeah. than anything. On the way back as we were driving, Jesse and I were talking about what's the next plush toy gonna be for this. Yeah. Because you know, they advertise all these different things. There's a new character. It's like, that's gonna be the next toy and all that. Yeah. It's, just, it's, it's how it goes. It's how all movies go. So I don't want to ruin anybody's day by saying that. But it was good. I'll yeah. give it a six. But we were like the only like couple who went there. Like everyone else was like either like parents and child or little kids. So we felt a little weird. And then my mom called me on the way out of the theater and she's like, what did you just watch? And I was like, Frozen 2. And she was like, really? You watch Frozen 2? Like how old are you? And I'm like, mom, it's Disney, okay? Like any age you can watch Disney. We just got Disney Plus. And I cannot wait to watch every single movie on there. I keep trying to get him to watch Fantasia because it's the best. There's a Fantasia from like, was it 1960 or 1970? And then there was a Fantasia 2000. And they're really good. So. All right then. Yeah. 
Anyways, though, I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. Let us know what you thought of Frozen without spoilers in the comments. And uh, yeah, we will see you in our next video. Bye. See you guys. You're aiming horribly. <laughs> Can he see you? Probably. I mean.